Hey everybody, it's Mike from Apocalypse Armory and Never Dry. We're going to be doing a couple more reviews today. I've got three for you today. And what are we doing? We're going the distance. <laughs> That's right. So, we're going with some binoculars. We're going optics today, man. So, what do we got here? We got some binoculars and they got a nice fit. They've got a nice weight to them too. They're not too heavy and they're not too light, which is great. So it's got a good build for it, especially for the cost, link in the description. You'll be able to pick a couple of these up. And they're not that expensive where if, let's say you're hiking and it falls off a cliff. It's not that big of a deal. You really kind of hope you don't, but if it happens, it happens. Or if you're a hunter and they fall off your tree stand. Again, it happens, but at least wasn't that much so they got a nice view uh, you know it's a pretty decent distance and I'll try to get some video of uh, through the optics later on uh, so you guys can see all right next up apocalypse armory started because of you know zombie apocalypse which probably will never happen however government collapse or mass rioting or natural phenomena you never really know. So we decided to write a survival guide and if anybody's coming we want to see them coming. So what better way to do that than with a 60 times magnifying spotting scope. Heck yeah! This little thing, which is actually not that big, uh, it's pretty light, maybe a pound maybe a pound and a half not really that heavy it's got a tripod on it which is great for nice stable plus it's pretty easy to adjust so this kind of you know lets you swing and move and adjust and then you can tighten it and then it won't move pretty nice and uh, again try to get some optics in here so that way you guys can see but you can actually see pretty darn far I'm looking at my backyard and I can see uh, uh, my chain link fence at the end of my yard like it's right in front of me. <laughs> it's amazing how optics work. <laughs> so, so let's say we have a zombie situation and uh, well, we see them coming. We've seen them through our spotting scope and they're getting closer so we see them through our binoculars. What are we gonna do? Well, there's only one thing we can do to a zombie that's coming after us. We shoot it in the face with a 308. <laughs> That's right. Don't worry, it's unloaded. But, so we got a scope here, 10 times magnification, and bang! Hey! Zombies down. Whew. Oh, thank goodness. But wait, there's more. It's a 308. It's loud. So. There's more zombies coming now, but now they're far too close. I can't pick them off at, you know, 40 yards when they're that close. I mean, that, that their head would be gigantic and fill up my scope. What am I going to do? This thing comes with a red dot, green dot, reticle. Yeah, and I'll make sure to get some of this too. So flip this baby on. Oh. Yeah. Now I have a red dot for close up shots. Boom! And break! Done. Got that zombie. Uh, thank goodness I can go ahead and turn this off. But wait, there's another one. But he's only like five feet away. What am I going to do? Laser! <laughs> I got a laser for those close-up shots that you really got to get. Boom! Boom! Yeah. Not bad for like a $70 price tag. Gun not included. <laughs> Again, link in the description. Make sure to check it out. All the information is right there. Great reviews. Great company. Uh, especially for the price. Um, very, very pleased with it. Anyway... We'll see you guys later. Hey everybody. Um, so in my video, I mentioned that these binoculars might be 
cheap or poorly made if they are fall from a cliff or a, a t deer stand. So I figured why not put that to the test. So I got my binoculars and you can see that I'm not just uh, standing on the ground. I am on my roof. So we're going to chuck this thing off. So here we go. All right. So there's my ladder. There's a fire pit. Here's the binoculars. Oops, I dropped it out of my tree stand. There they are. <laughs> anyway, yeah, my dog's going to investigate. Good job, Tyson. All right, we're going to test it out. But Mike, what about if the binoculars hit a rock? Well, I guess I didn't test that because it did land into grass. So... Let's see if it made it. Here, come on with me. So, Shaleen, they look pretty good. Let's see what happened. Oh, yeah, now we're definitely getting scuffed up. Let's see if it actually looks good. <clears throat> It's not even sized to my face anymore. Gosh! <laughs> Holy crap. Still focused, still clear. Should we do it again? Man, I just can't hold on to these things. Let's see. <sighs> So, apparently, don't drop it out of your tree stand like three... That's threaded. I wonder if we can... Oh, no, we totally broke it. Sweet! We broke it! Okay, so, it took dropping this thing, while I'm flinging this thing, off of my garage and onto concrete three times to actually break. So, it's actually pretty well made. Well, since it's already broken... Yeah, no, I can't see anything. <laughs> so, how many times does it take to do total destruction? All right, I don't know if that's that's enough. Yeah. So, uh how many times does it take? I mean, it doesn't seem like it's gonna break anymore if I just fling it like this. <clears throat> yeah, it's broken. <clears throat> it's definitely breaking. I mean, pieces are coming off. Yeah, it's breaking. Okay, so let's see. The moral of the story is don't throw your binoculars off of your tree stand and then repeatedly throw it at concrete. And they should be fine. Definitely pretty good. All right. Now that we've officially tested it, now you guys can go pick up a couple. Link in the description. Okay, so we just threw that off of my garage into grass, which is, you know, it's gonna happen. You're gonna drop them, whatever. But then we threw it, tossed it, kind of like, you know, this, a couple of times onto concrete. But then it didn't break. So we slammed it down and then it broke. So, well, I put everything back together just by shoving everything back together, it works. Everything works. You can see through this thing. It is absolutely crazy that all you had to do is just shove the thing back in. I broke the like lanyard clip, but I mean, that's it. It still works. How, <laughs> how does that even, 
How? How am I supposed to break these? I don't really know. Go pick yourself up a couple. Link in the description. Just, I got nothing. <laughs> I just got that see you later joke. <laughs>